Hi guys, welcome back. Today I have an Ulta haul for you guys. I just want to show you the products that I did pick up for myself. I went shopping with my older daughter. She knows a lot about makeup. I decided to pick up a few things that I want to share with you guys that I've tried already. So one of the things that I did pick up is one of these skin food face masks. This one is the black sugar honey and my younger daughter, she has the rice one and she's been trying it out and she really likes it. I think the rice one is probably a better one for teens or for somebody with oily skin. But I picked up the black sugar honey because honey is actually something that won't dry out your skin. I have tried their skin food regular mask. I think it's called the black sugar mask. I really do like that one and that's what I use to wash my face with. Sometimes I leave it on like a mask in the shower and I do like it and it's very inexpensive. So I wanted to try this one out. I also picked up the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water, the one with the blue lid. This one says that it removes the waterproof stuff. I haven't tried it but I have heard really good things about it. They had this thing where if you buy like $27 worth of items of Ulta brand, you would get like this free bag with all kinds of makeup in it. This is the bag and it did come with a lot of items and a lot of them I've already given them away to my daughter. By the way, they had this one in this really pretty neutral color and they also had it in a blue color. One of the items they give you for free are these eyeshadow palettes that look like this and it has these colors right there. I think the colors are really pretty and I think this one would really work for spring and maybe even summer and I haven't tried them yet but I'm excited to give it a try. They also give you one of their little pencil sharpeners for your lip pencils and things. They also give you this little palette that has a highlighter and a blush and I really like that color. I think it's very pretty and then this is the highlighter right there. That's the highlighter. It's not very bright but you know I think it's pretty and the blush is right there which is very light as well. It's like a peachy color. They also gave me this lip gloss. It's the Ulta Beauty Lip Gloss Stain. I've been into reds lately, so that's a really nice color. And then another thing they gave me was this Ulta Beauty Matte Lipstick. The color is called Petal. And that's the color right there. It's such a pretty color, guys. Let me do a little swatch here for you guys. And that's the color right there. It's such a beautiful color. I really do like it and I can't believe they give it to you for free. So the color is called Petal, if you guys are interested in that color, and it is one of the mattes, and it's the Ulta Beauty brand. They also gave me a mascara. It's the Amped Lashes Mascara by Ulta Beauty, and I haven't tried it, so I don't know how good it is. They also had a liquid mattifier from Ulta brand. They had an eyeliner, a little container like this that had makeup remover pads, a uh, couple other things that I'm just not remembering right now, which I gave to my daughter. I'm going to go ahead and do a little swatch of this one as well, if you guys are interested in looking at that. This one's actually called Treason, not Teason. And I have my glasses on too, which I just got. It has to be working better because I ain't seeing right. Well, there it is. And let me just show you like a first swipe so you guys can see the opacity. And that's the one swipe right there. So I think it has pretty good coverage and it is a lip stain. So that means my hand's going to be stained, but it's a very pretty color, guys. I really am liking it. I think I'm going to put this in my purse because I really like it. I also picked up these Ardell lashes that I thought were very interesting because these are faux mink lashes. They just look very realistic. They look like that. And I just think they're very interesting because they almost look like they yanked them off of a person and put them in here because <laughs> they look so real. The shape of them is just very natural. They're, they just look like real lashes to me. And there you go. And I'm interested to see how nice they look on your eyes. Some of the Ulta items that we did pick up were my daughter's and she already took all those things. So I won't have a lot of the Ulta brand items here. But I did pick up this little tiny eyeshadow called Bronze Babe. I thought it was a very pretty color. That's what it looks like right there. And I'm going to swatch it here for you guys. I have tried it already. It's very bronzy, very pretty actually. These are very pigmented as well. I'm really sorry about the glare in my glasses, but I just got these and I'm supposed to be wearing them, so I can't take them off. And yeah, I'm really sorry about that, guys. I also picked up this other mascara by Bare Minerals. It's called Lash Domination. I have actually tried it, but it was very wet because when you first get them, they're all a little bit on the wet side. My older daughter, 
this is the mascara she's been using and oh my gosh i literally thought she had falsies on when she used this mascara because her lashes looked so pretty and big and expanded and it just they just look so nice and big and they did not look clumpy at all i can tell that this is a very good mascara recently i've been using the roller lash which at first i didn't like i felt like it really didn't do much but then after it got a little bit drier i really did like it and so i think it's going to be the same thing with this one the other thing that i did pick up is one of their clearance item and it's an eyeshadow that looks like this this one is called mystique they did have it there for a dollar 97 which was originally seven dollars this one doesn't say ultra beauty like the other one and it's a little bit bigger kind of seems a little bit on the sheer side but it's pretty nice i would say and this is in the color Mystique. I'm not sure if it's lost its pigmentation because maybe it's been sitting on the shelf too long or what's going on or maybe that's the way these are. But I would have to say that there's a big difference between these two. The Ulta Beauty ones are very pigmented and these are a little bit more sheer. Finally bought this item here which I've been looking at for years and everybody's been raving about it and everything but I never pick it up because I always think oh it's too expensive I don't think it's gonna do much but I actually tried theirs out when they had a sample and so I am really liking it right now I'm not using it but I have used it when I did more makeup right now I really just have a BB cream and when I did wear actual foundation and I wore this oh my goodness guys this is amazing Amazing. it really did help with my pores and I seem to have very large pores and so it really did minimize them and I also found a way to use it in a way that it's not traditionally used which really did the trick and I'm gonna maybe show you guys in another video really great item I'm so glad I finally picked up my pores really need it another item I picked up is the Laura Geller baked balance and brighten color correcting foundation it comes in a box like this and this is the powder that I've been using for a while. It looks like that. I really do like this powder because if you have more mature skin, you do need something that's a little bit more brightening. And this one does exactly that. If you try to go a little bit more matte, I think it accentuates your fine lines and wrinkles. And with the brightening stuff, it actually helps. So this is one of those powders that actually helps if you have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles like I do. And this is in the color Fair. But make sure it's the one that says Brighten Foundation because there's another one that's matte. Another item that I did pick out is this item from Too Faced. This is the hangover rx this is a primer that is kind of new i would say it is silicone free and my daughter recommended that i use this one because it is hydrating and she's been hearing a lot of good reviews on youtube about it these items are a little bit pricey but i wanted to see if it was worth it i like it because it does come with a little pump i have tried it a couple times i felt like if i was putting something very hydrating i think that i was expecting more though expecting to be transformed and looking like a movie star it was decent Will I buy it again? I don't know. I have to use it a little bit more to know whether it's worth me spending as much money as I did for it. I think that I could just use a really nice hydrating lotion underneath my primer and it'll do the same thing. I'm not sure. But in a way, this is kind of like killing two birds with one stone because it does hydrate and it also primes your skin at the same time. So maybe it is worth it, but... I guess time will tell because I have to use things more than once in order for me to feel like I really have a good idea of whether I like the item or not. The last item that I do have here is this palette from Lorac. This is a Los Angeles palette. I was really hesitant in getting it because I really don't want to spend too much sometimes and he's just like, just take it. It's for your birthday. So I was like, okay, I wasn't going to argue with him. So this is what the palette looks like. It has very beautiful colors. As you can see, my daughter has been using it like crazy. Yeah, she's been rocking a really nice eye these days for school i think i've only used it once and she's used it like i don't know the whole week she kind of swatched these colors on her arm and took a picture so i will see if i can upload that picture on my instagram if you guys are interested in looking at that i would say that all of the lorac eyeshadow palettes are highly pigmented and i really do like them this one has a lot of fallout there 
but it's very very pigmented and it feels very smooth so that was everything that i had for today and i hope that you guys enjoyed this haul just wanted to get on here and share kind of give you a mini review of what i thought about it so far like i said i haven't used these items that long but the few times that i have used them i think that they've given me a little idea of what they're like that was everything that i picked up i'm very excited to use all these items and if you guys notice i did pick up quite a few things that are for more mature skin just remember to use hydrating to use brightening stuff and that will really help out so thank you guys again have a really beautiful day and i will see you guys on my next video bye